Hi guys, Alec Pierce from Vintage Scupa. Again, another one of our series on my uh, two hose regulators, my special two hose regular. We're doing these for two reasons. First of all, they're darn interesting. If you guys are into vintage scuba, into two hose regulators, you might be enjoying some of this history and looking at these regulators that I've had for many, many years, some, some cases 40 years or more. Um, also, the history is pretty neat. Almost every one of my regulators uh, has a story behind it. Yeah. <laughs> Here's an example. This particular regulator, you saw from the title, I have called the New England Divers Two Hose Regulator. And that's a lie. It's, it's, it's just a barefaced lie, I'm going to admit it. Because New England Divers never made a darn regulator in their life. New England Divers was a dive store. Yeah, they were like uh, Dive Source or, uh, or uh, Scuba 2000 or uh, Discount Divers. Just a dive store. No big deal. They sold stuff. They didn't make anything. So what's this all about, New England divers? Well, this is quite common. This is actually quite common. Even today, you often will find products that were made by a company, but that doesn't have that company's name on it. They've been rebranded. That's what it's called. It's called rebranded. This particular regulator is actually a Sportsways Hydro Twin 2. That's right. Sportsways Hydro Twin 2. Sportsways was a big uh, company in the 50s and 60s. One of the big five. There were five big companies in the 50s and 60s making gear. And Sportsways was one of them. Sportsways was founded by a chap by the name of Sam LeCoque. Dear friend of mine, uh, not too long ago, has passed away. Sam LeCoque. Very innovative. Very innovative. He was an engineer, an inventor, a developer, a fun guy, and French-Canadian, French, -Canadian, French uh, actually French-Canadian, French, -French -Canadian, French and, uh, and he started a company called Sportsways. Now, he did that subsequent to other ventures. He worked for Healthways, he worked for U.S. Divers, I think he worked for Scuba Pro, I'm not entirely sure of that, but he worked for other companies as well, built up his experience in Scuba, got lots of great ideas, started Sportsways, and came out with a beautiful single hose regulator in the early, early 60s. One of the very first, I don't like to say the first, because there's a regulator in, in Australia, which apparently came out two days before, and everybody gets arguing about that, but one of the very first single hose regulators, yeah, called the water lung. Right there, there's a story. He called his regulator the water lung. Right, and he had a problem. Almost immediately, U.S. divers sued him because water lung sounded like aqua lung. And they didn't want him to call, you know, the, the name. They didn't want that. So they sued him to stop using water lung. One of the few cases where U.S. divers lost. <laughs> That's right, Sam LeCoque uh, won that lawsuit. And so his uh, regulator was called the water lung. Good name, water lung. Now, that was a single hose regulator. And, uh, and he sold lots of them. And he had different models. There's about five or six different models. I have them all. They're beautiful piece of scuba history, his single hose regulators. Uh, however, at that particular time, the double hose, the good old double hose uh, regulator was the regulator of choice. The U.S. divers didn't have a single hose regulator for a few years. They had nothing but uh, double hose. So uh, Sam Lecoq, uh, Sports Waste, decided they better get a double hose. They're losing part of the market. So they developed this, the Hydro Twin, it was called. Uh, the first regulator was called something else, uh, the first one, but very quickly they improved it and they called it the Hydro Twin, and it looks just like this. Now, the regulator alone is pretty interesting because it really, it really, if you look at the first stage, it's kind of odd. On most regulators, if you look at the first stage, there is very little on the back of, of this uh, top box. Excuse me a second, I'll show you what I mean. Here's a very typical regulator, a U.S. diver's regulator from exactly the same time. And you can see that this is the top box, there's nothing there. Very little. There's a yoke screw and the yoke and the filter and the nut. That's about it. Whereas on, on Sam's uh, water lung, there's a lot of stuff up here. There's a yoke screw and a yoke, but there, here's, here's a diaphragm in here and a couple of ports, all kinds of stuff. What, what's all this about? Well, interesting. Sam, as I say, was a pretty bright fellow. And rather than make a whole new regular from scratch, all new parts, all new technology. He said, hold on a minute. My single hose regulator is very, very good. Why don't I take the first stage from my single hose regulator, the water lung, and mount it onto a box and make it into a double hose regulator? That's exactly what it is. So if you see, uh, you'll see eventually on my vintage scuba, maybe, maybe uh, um, Kevin can show you a picture. If you see a picture of a single hose regulator from Sportsways at this time, the water lung, you'll see that that is the first stage. 
And all Sam did was he mounted the first stage onto a box, and he had the air internally go to the second stage. Yeah, this is a two-stage regulator with a standard big diaphragm like every double hose had. And then he stuck a, a, an intake hose on here with a lever and an exhaust hose on here with the holes for the bubbles to come out. And voila, he had a very, very good, very rugged and, and excellent breathing double hose regulator, just like that. Okay, let's go. And it was called, uh, the, uh, the first one, I forget the name, Kevin will get it, but this one was called the Hydro Twin. And then he came out just a little bit later with the Hydro Twin 2, slightly improved, very little, diff very little differences in them, quite frankly, but very slightly improved. Um, and there you go. So what about this New England Divers thing? Well, in just a little while, you're going to see another video where I, uh, where I feature one of Sam LeCoq's Hydro Twin regulators as well. And you will see this same regulator with the original Sportsways Hydro Twin label on there and a couple of other special things about it too. And you'll be able to compare the two. Quite frankly, the only difference is the label. So New England Divers, I believe it was owned by Bev Morgan, a very, very well-known <clears throat> commercial diver at the time. Um, he called up uh, Sam LeCoq and said, Hey, Sam, I like your regulator. I'd like to buy a whole bunch of them. But I want to have a New England Divers label on it so people think it's our regulator. And Sam, you know, I know Sam well enough. If Sam would never turn down a dollar <clears throat> or 10 cents. <laughs> and anyway, I, he said, Sure, Bev. And he took a bunch of his regulators and, and sent them off to Bev Morgan up at uh, New England Divers. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing, I'm just making this up as I go along, that Bev had some stickers made up that said New England Divers, and he stuck them on there and sold them. And they were quite popular. Yeah. Now today, this regulator, that is a Sportsways regulator made by Sam LaCocca Sportsways, but with the New England Divers label on it, one of these rebranded regulators is not very common, quite rare. In fact, uh, not impossible to get, but very difficult to get. And they command pretty big bucks. Pretty standard, but very good regulator. Now, this particular one is already sold. Sorry, guys. Um, but it is sold already to, a, to another good friend of mine, a collector of, uh, of scuba history. And he's going to be very pleased with this because this regulator is new. It is like new. The chrome is perfect and unusual. In fact, the badge, this decal, the sticker that Bev Morgan of New England Divers put on there is virtually unmarked. Usually they're scratched or torn a little bit, broken off. This one is perfect. So, so the buyer of this particular regulator, I'm trying to think of his name, I can't think of I think it's Jake, uh, uh, purchased this, is going to be very, very happy when he does get this regulator into his collection. Anyway, there you go, guys. There's a bit of a history about Sportsways and how they built their double hose regulator using a single hose first stage and made it into a very, very popular, very easy breathing, very good regulator. And then how they would rebrand their regulators. Now, this was sold by New England Divers. There you go. Bit of scuba history. Hope you enjoyed that. Talk to you soon. Alec Pierce, Minty Scuba.